That was beautiful, Shriyari. We now take forward the idea of subcontinental synthesis through a video made and sung by Shrihari Prayag. This hymn, composed by a Muslim monarch, Ibrahim Adil Shah from Bijapur, invokes goddess Saraswati, the goddess of learning and the preceding deity of Basant. Hari will now play Amor Janma Bhumi, followed by Ganga Amarma, Padma Amarma, linking Ganga and Padma, Yamuna and Meghna. 
to bring about the India Bangladesh fusion. Oh, 
Thank you so much, Shri Hari. Outstanding performances. I'm sure everyone would agree with me on that. Moving on, now I'd like to invite our professor K. Pravesh Vishwanathan Iyer to unravel the intent and content of this program. A very warm welcome to all the dignitaries from uh, across the Padma and Ganga. It is a great moment for us personally at Guru Nanak Khalsa College that Amrit Prabha is happening. This was made possible fundamentally through the good offices of my friend Ketan Vaidya, who gave me the lead to the presiding persona, Professor Ujwal Kumar Choudhury, who was grateful enough and magnanimous enough in coordinating and cementing the brick and mortar for this online overture. Thank you very much, Ujwalda, for this great amount of uh, effort which you put in for us, uh, bringing Daffodils International University from Dhaka. And then, of course, how to forget the Vishwa Bharati Shanti Niketan. I would now just lay emphasis on the intent and content as to why Amrit Prabha, I'll make it very brief. 2022 offers a very, very unique twist with destiny. I call it twist with destiny, basically because this year, if we had missed it, we would have missed 200 years of Bengali Renaissance. It is the 100 years of Shanti Niketan and 100 years of Shakti Jitre, the alumnus of Shanti Niketan who has made India proud worldwide through his cinematic excellence and cinematic um, you know, eminence. We are also fortunate enough to be entwining ourselves with the 75 years of Indian freedom and 50 years of Bangladeshi liberation. So this unique um, bouquet of a pancha utsav, we would have missed it. And you know, God willing, Insha Allah and Insha Krishna, all the gods put together, gave us this power to really ideate and execute this particular trinity in unity. So in a way, we are celebrating the subcontinental continuum. God made the country, man made the town. Sar Zamine Hind, Sar Zamine Bangla, all are one. We are all, you know, products of this great great Bengali renaissance. What Bengal thinks today, the world thinks tomorrow. Proclaimed Gopal Krishna Gokhale. And they are the forerunners of whatever you may say. They are, they are the uh, you know, fountainhead of culture. Bangla renaissance. So we thought it fit under the auspices of Faculty of Arts that you know, this is an opportune time. This is a golden moment to really, um, you know, bring about a fusion of sorts between India and Bangladesh. And uh, uh, due to the good offices of Ujwal Kumar Choudhury, we could rope in uh, Daffodils International University and um, Vishwabharati Shanti Niketan in this great exercise. Um, the, the intent of this particular Amrit Prabha is that we have to inseminate the agelessness and timelessness of our shared values between the two countries, the common heritage, the history, how we fought for Indian, Indi Indian independence, and we got it. And they should be also be um, you know, inseminated about uh, how um, a great fusion is made possible in if exercises like this lead to a cultural exchange, a student-to-student -student ideas exchange program if it is an ongoing process and we can meet physically, okay, of course, offline uh, exercises are now on, but this is happening in the virtual domain. 
a real meeting of hearts and minds and a soulful fusion in uh, in the immediate future if it happens then that would really bring about the celebration of the composite culture of ganga and padma yamuna and meghna this is our um, you know exercise and um, i would take this opportunity to welcome the august dignitaries uh, we have with us um, the dean of faculty of humanities and social sciences uh, from daffodil international university professor uh, dr a m m hamidur rahman i owe a great great deal to professor uh, professor hafta hussain the head Depart, um, department of journalism um, uh, gmc i also owe a great deal to saidur mohammad saidur rahman khan for uh, for really uh, um, uh, you know putting all the exercises together what all you know bringing this into reality and of course dr biplab loh choudhury from the professor from the center of um, journalism and mass communication uh from uh, vishwa bharati shanti niketan and his assistant professors dr moushmi bhattacharya and um, dr sanhit i would now take this opportunity to invite our principal the, the host of this amrit prabha um, this amrit prabha is um, celebrated under hosted under the auspices of the faculty of arts where all the departments associated with faculty of arts are coming together and it has been a students exercise of presenting the ideas exchange program and the cultural exchange program which will happen post the siep that is the students ideas exchange program without much ado i would now invite our principal dr kiran mangaonkar and then of course the dean of fhss um daffodils in uh, daffodil international university to uh, say a few words and share their um uh, pearls of wisdom with us okay what do you say yeah uh, good afternoon to one and all wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh i take this opportunity that on behalf of our management staff and students of khalsa college i welcome you all for this amrit prabha it's a basically a cultural program to have the exchange the ideas in this neighboring countries india and bangladesh uh in fact there's a great happening that's why we call it as a pancha utsav as mentioned by professor uh, pravesh we have 200 years of bengali renaissance 100 years of shanti niketan 100 years for satyajit ray a great film personality 75 years of our indian independence and 50 years of bangladesh freedom uh in fact these two neighboring countries have a lot of common history and common values and this kind of uh, student and idea exchange programs will enhance these ties further so i hope that in future also we should have this program we should happen uh, happen constantly uh i take this opportunity to thank first of all the daffodil international university and of course shanti niketan for collaborating with us for this particular program uh, especially i welcome professor hamidur rahman dean faculty of humanities and social sciences at the daffodil international university and his entire staff and students who are attending this particular online program uh i welcome professor ujwal choudhury and dr biplab choudhury and their entire team from shanti niketan in this program dr basabi pal from chandnagor i am thankful as a uh, pravesh sir mentioned i am thankful to ketan vaidya from mumbai mirror who was instrumental in bringing this great personalities together today uh there is one more 
personality today uh, attending this program uh, i'll welcome of course professor sanjay deshmukh former vice chancellor of university of mumbai but today he is in the role of a guardian uh, you have just now listened to shri hari uh, so professor deshmukh is today present as his guardian i welcome deshmukh sir also uh, as i mentioned earlier this kind of program should continue to build more ties between the neighboring countries and neighboring organizations so i wish all the best to this function and of course i am very thankful to my faculty members and the student volunteers who have taken a lot of hard they have done a lot of hard work taken a lot of efforts to organize this program so i wish all the success for this program thank you thank you very much over to pravesh sir uh, thank you very much sir it is basically your uh, continuous encouragement and uh, uh, you know uh, and motivation so that programs like this keep happening um i take this opportunity to invite uh, the dean of faculty of humanities and social sciences um dr amm amidur rahman saab to come on behalf of daffodil international university and share his um, uh, perspective on this online exercise a very warm welcome to you sir um uh, salam alaikum wa alaikum salam thank you for inviting me and i think it's a great occasion and indeed it's an honor for me to be present here and i pay my humble respect to all the respected academicians from the three universities that we have met today and it is a great occasion because vishwavarathi is one of the oldest universities in india founded by rabindranath tagore and also guru nanak khalsa college uh, i think it's a uh, affiliated to university of mumbai and such a diversity such richness of culture we all share the culture of indian culture and we have common heritage so it's a great occasion for me my te teachers of my faculty and the students and it's a great sign of uh, the friend friendship and exchange of scholarship and academia uh, membership and i hope that in and the daffodil university is relatively new but we also uh, have a very beautiful campus and i i invite you to come and visit us and uh, Dr. professor joel choudhury was here with us and he will be here with us for a longer time in future and it is a great occasion and i hope that through this program the cooperation uh, exchange of, of knowledge exchange of ideas and friendliness among these three universities and other university will shine and prosper i thank you and once again and i hope that this conference this online conference will bring more results in future thank you uh, thank you dean sir yes it is uh, it should prove to be a harbinger of uh, glad tidings and uh, good fortune between uh, the two countries and of course the people to people exchange and uh, student to student meeting of hearts and minds and souls this would be the, the entire exercise of amrit prabha is to bring about that particular union of hearts and minds and um, we have the most important segment now coming forward that is the students ideas exchange program four contestants each from daffodil international university cjmc center of journalism and mass communication cjmc um shantiniketan vishwabharati and four contestants from guru nanak khalsa college alumnus have been shortlisted for this students ideas exchange program after a grueling and a drilling um you know uh, exercises at the respective institutions there were many uh, contestants and the uh, the professors here who were given the job to really Uh, groom them and uh, adjust the best. Found it rather difficult to choose, pick and choose. So finally, 
these 12 are cherry picked by their respective institutions to come and exchange their ideas uh, under the auspices of students ideas exchange program remember students your ideas and your exchanges are going to really uh, go a long way in fostering amity peace goodwill and harmony in this subcontinent you are all the harbingers of the subcontinental synthesis one point which i would like to make is we are not going to reveal the identity of any student each one there are 12 contestants so we have named them as apc1 apc2 they are you know um, as per the alphabetical order they have been uh, you know rearranged so we will just call the name of apc1 and automatically they would be here i would request them to even uh, refigure reconfigure their names on their computers so that any identity per se need not be revealed and finally the the jury the two member jury for this siep student ideas exchange program uh, are professor uh, ujwal kumar choudhury and dr basavi pal okay the 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 criteria is very very simple it conceptual cl clarity carries 10 marks and how they express carries 10 marks it is going to be a four minute ex, um, interface for all the students okay respectively in the third minute i would request my student friend sapna japtap to give the buzzer as a you know sort of a warning buzzer not a warning buzzer but the first buzzer and then the second buzzer the contestants have to wind up so i suppose the entire mechanism of siep is clear to all students apc1 to apc12 um you know as a as a bouquet of india bangladesh students ideas exchange program with the three, three institutions shanti niketan vishwabharati um daffodils international university and guru nanak kalsa college um at autonomous mumbai playing the role playing the sheet sheet anchor of celebrating the unity in diversity what unity and what diversity and what pluralism and what syncretism we are seeing here and this is the time the next one hour is going to be pure celebration of ideas and expressions to each one of you the contesting members participants um, on behalf of all the three institutions i extend a warm welcome and um, tell you all one secret in life that always do things to express never to impress you are coming forward and expressing yourself itself is a great celebration of your own self so may you celebrate your self expressions here come forward and the jury is there to uh, adjudge adjudicate the winner there will be three prizes the certificates would be uh, all would be given the certificates of participation and the best would also get one more certificate of first prize second prize and runner up i will not take much time i would hand over the proceedings to jasmine chandok and komudi vaidya over to you thank you sir so now we start the students idea exchange program and firstly i would like to call apc1 good afternoon everyone good afternoon to all the fellow students and faculty members respected academicians present here from uh, india and bangladesh it is a great honor to speak in front of you i'm going to speak about 100 years of vishwa bharati shanti niketan whenever we talk about shanti niketan numbers and facts come up there are a lot of them numbers and facts are important but you know i basically can't remember all of them so i won't go there there are some facts like uh, 1921 vishwa bharati was established as a university 1951 it got the central university status but i want to talk about the mindset of ravindranath tagore gurudev ravindranath tagore why he set out for this journey he himself wasn't a prominent educational 
expert he was literary expert he himself didn't receive the uh, usual education when he was child he only received education at school for 8 years then he left he didn't like the education system in india at that time when we were under british rules he thought that in an interview he said that the education system was shackles for students and children whose minds were meant to be free he didn't like it because he thought that it didn't connect them to the roots of india he wanted a education where everyone should learn not for the sake of getting a job under government's ruling or anything else he wanted them to learn to live their life freely he wanted the education to reach the rural areas of india he wanted a place where india could connect with the whole world that is why he himself said one time that it is kind of irony that i am following the education system of west when he was very focal at that time about nationalism he spoke about nationalism he did many things in indian national movements he his idea of education where was where city and village could come together poor and rich could come together everyone could come in a single place to learn about their roots and give freedom to their minds his his idea was vishwavarati is a place where india expresses his hospitality its hospitality to the world and it has the right to take what is good around the world this was his idea this idea has uh, taken step and it has completed a journey of 100 years now there are many alumni i would like to address one of them chatrajit ray how vishwavarati changed his mindset about indian art and culture he himself wasn't too keen about indian art and culture he thought it was just the gods and goddesses paintings of them he didn't like that he was more interested about the western culture he didn't even wanted to come to vishwavarati in the first place after le, after he completed his studies at presidency college calcutta it was his mother's wish uh, so he came here he saw vinod bihari nandalal bose their paintings and art and his perception of indian culture changed completely and even now if you come to shantini ketan you could see the rural touch that is still present in shantini ketan vishwavarati it is not completely a gigantic modern infrastructural university it, you can connect to nature and do not forget your roots where you come from and free your mind here at shantini ketan thank you thank you for this opportunity thank you now i would like to call apc2 um uh, good afternoon everyone i'll be presenting my screen is my screen visible to everyone yes it is yes. Okay. so uh, good afternoon everyone again i am going to talk about ingla india bangladesh growing ties over the years so a country is like a foundation that is built on the values of sovereignty equality trust and most importantly its desire in association with neighbors that defines growth as well as overall development that goes way beyond the strategic partnership today as we celebrate 50 years of bangladesh liberation it reminds us about the ties between india and bangladesh that go way back to 1971 when the indian army fought alongside bangladeshi freedom fighters in the liberation war from having the same cultural and historical background to entering a new era of cooperation both countries moved into a multidimensional relationship ranging from traditional sectors of the tourism education and health to frontier technologies of space nuclear science and many more 
This can be signified by the existing 50 bilateral institutional mechanisms between India and Bangladesh in areas ranging from security and defense to rivers and marine time affairs. The question here arises that over the years, over the years, what defining factors made this bilateral relation a standing example of positive growth while conserving peace? Its answer lies within its mutual interest in military, military cooperation. Basically, India-Bangladesh shares a border of 4,096.7 kilometers covering states like West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, and Mizoram, which traverses a range of natural and cultural landscapes. This also increases the number of insurgency and terrorism situations near the border. To overcome these situations, the Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has uprooted all the anti-India insurgency elements from its border. Secondly, to resolve the land boundary issues, both countries peacefully signed a land boundary agreement in the year 2015, which included swapping of enclaves, also known as Chitmahal, which were the small patches of land neglected during the demarcation of boundary, allowing inhabitants to choose the country of residence and be a citizen of a particular country. Whereas recently in the year 2017, during the visit of PM Sheikh Hasina in New Delhi, India-Bangladesh signed two defense agreements, the first of its kind agreement between India and any of its neighbors. Under these agreements, the joint military training and exercises were discussed for both the countries. India also provided a $500 million of defense-related purchase, making it India's first ever defense-related agreement. For the first time in 2022, a 122-member contingent comprising of personnel drawn from all the three wings of armed forces of Bangladesh participated in the Indian Republican Parade wearing the special red color in honor of the heroes who made sacrifices in the 1971 war. Marching to the awakening song of Shonu Ekti Mujibur Teke, meaning listen to the voice of Mujibur, which being multiplied to hundreds of thousands of his followers was played by the marching band. The soldiers were considered as torchbearers of flame of friendship between India and Bangladesh, and India was honored to have them for the very first time in our Republican career. These events portray the example of mutual harmony leading to the overall development and considering the growing efforts, we can surely say that in coming years, India-Bangladesh ties will surely be deepened. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I'd like to request APC3 to take over, please. Thank you very Bangla Namojagore ne dusho vasher kuri kuno the. Me Bangla Namojagore chhomonde nuto kuchh maatra diya jai ki na. Shi bisute chhomonde aushna. Namojagore, ita Europe theke ukheshche ba Italy Can you can you kindly turn your mobile? You know your because the camera is showing different. Yeah yeah. Now you will speak. Yeah. So, যে নবজাগরণের বিষয় যেটা ইউরোপ বা ইতালি থেকে উঠে আসছে তো স্বাভাবিকভাবে বাংলার নবজাগরণের কথা বলতে গেলে ইউরোপের নবজাগরণের সঙ্গে একটা তুলনা করার খুব প্রবণতা দেখা যায় আদৌ কি বাংলাতে নবজাগরণ হয়েছিল সেটা নিয়ে বিস্তর আলোচনা হয়েছে বিভিন্ন দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি রয়েছে তাদের মধ্যে অন্যতম রয়েছিল আমাদের অমলিস ত্রিপাঠি যিনি ইতালির রেনেসা ও বাঙালির সংস্কৃতির নামে একটা বই লিখেছিলেন এছাড়া অনেকেই রয়েছেন বিনয় ঘোষ রয়েছে অশোক সিং রয়েছে সুমিত সরকার রয়েছে কিন্তু এই যে তুলনা করে দেখাটা এবং এই তুলনা করে দেখতে গেলে বাঙালার যে নবজাগরণ সেই নবজাগরণটাকে কি আদৌ নবজাগরণ বলা যেতে পারে বা এক্ষেত্রে আমরা নতুন দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি কি নিয়ে আসতে পারি দেখো ইউরোপের যে নবজাগরণ হয়েছিল সেটা পঞ্চদশ শতাব্দী বা ষোড়শ শতাব্দীর দিকে এবং বাংলার যে নবজাগরণ সেটা হচ্ছে অষ্টদশ অষ্টদশ এবং ঊনবিংশ শতাব্দীর দিকে এবং সম্পূর্ণ আর্থ সামাজিক ও রাজনৈতিক পরিপ্রেক্ষিত সম্পূর্ণ আলাদা একটা বিশ্বের দুটো ভিন্ন প্রান্ত এবং আর্থ সামাজিক রাজনৈতিক পরিপ্রেক্ষিত আলাদা সে কারণে একই রকম ঘটনা দুটো প্রান্তে বিশ্বের একই রকম ভাবে হওয়া সম্ভব নয় এটা তো আর কম্পিউটারে কোনো কিছু কপিপেস্ট হচ্ছে না যে ইউরোপের ঘটনাটা নিয়ে এসে আমরা বাংলাতে বসিয়ে দিলাম সেটা সম্ভব নয় সেই কারণে অনেক ঐতিহাসিক মনে করেছেন যে বাংলাতে নবজাগরণ হয়নি কিন্তু বাংলার যে নবজাগরণ হয়েছে সে বাংলার নবজাগরণকে বাংলার দৃষ্টিভঙ্গিতে বিচার করতে হবে অবশ্যই যে সমস্ত ঐতিহাসিকরা বলেছেন যে বাংলাতে নবজাগরণ হয়নি তাদের দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি রয়েছে তাদের যুক্তি রয়েছে এবং যুক্তিগুলো যথেষ্ট গ্রহণযোগ্য 
কিন্তু সেই যুক্তিগুলোর পিছনে অনেক কারণ রয়েছে সেগুলো খুব ভাঙা সম্ভব কেননা তারা বলছে যে যে সময় ইউরোপে নবজাগরণ হয়েছিল সে সময় নাকি সামন্ততন্ত্র থেকে ধনতন্ত্র হয়েছিল ইতালি থেকে শুরু করে ইউরোপে নবজাগরণ ছড়িয়ে পড়েছিল ইতালি থেকে শুরু করে ইউরোপে ছড়িয়ে পড়েছিল কিন্তু ভারতবর্ষের ক্ষেত্রে সেটা হয়নি তার কারণ ভারতবর্ষে কলকাতার মধ্যে সীমাবদ্ধ ছিল বা তার আশেপাশের অঞ্চলের মধ্যে সীমাবদ্ধ ছিল তার কারণ বাংলাতে শিক্ষার মান অনেক কম ছিল বাংলাতে রাজনৈতিক পরিপ্রেক্ষিত সম্পন্ন আলাদা ছিল কারণ বাংলা তখন স্বাধীন ছিল না এছাড়াও সামন্ততন্ত্র থেকে ধনতন্ত্র সেটা ভারতবর্ষের প্রেক্ষিতে সম্ভব নাই সেই পরিস্থিতিতে বা এটাও বলা যেতে পারে যে বাণিজ্যের বিকাশ হয়েছিল ভৌগোলিক আবিষ্কার হয়েছিল বাংলাতে সেগুলো সম্ভব ছিল না সেই জন্য বাংলার নবজাগরণকে যদি আমরা ইউরোপের সঙ্গে তুলনা করতে যাই তাহলে বাংলার নবজাগরণ অনেকটা সংকীর্ণ হয়ে যাবে সেই অর্থে আমি বলবো যে বাংলা যেহেতু নবজাগরণ দুশো বছর পরিপূর্ণ হলো তাই বাংলার নবজাগরণকে সার্থক করতে হলে দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি পাল্টাতে হবে আমাদেরকে নতুন ভাবে চর্চা করতে শুরু করতে বাংলার নবজাগরণ অনেক কিছু এসেছে শিক্ষার মান বৃদ্ধি পেয়েছে সংস্কার হয়েছে যেটা ইউরোপে হয়েছিল ধর্ম সংস্কার হয়েছিল আমাদের বিজ্ঞান চর্চা উন্নত হয়েছে আমরা সকলেই জানি আচার্য চক্রচন্দ্র রায় জগদীশ চন্দ্র বসু এটাও এসেছিল তো বাংলার যে নবজাগরণ বাংলার নবজাগরণ নির্দিষ্ট কিছু বৈশিষ্ট্য রয়েছে এবং সেই বৈশিষ্ট্য সামাজিক পরিপ্রেক্ষিত এবং রাজনৈতিক পরিপ্রেক্ষিতের উপর ভিত্তি করে তো এটাই বলবো যে হোয়াট বেঙ্গল থিংস টুডে ইন্ডিয়া থিংস টু মুভ তাই বাংলার নবজাগরণ সম্বন্ধে বলতে গেলেও আমাদেরকে এই দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি নিয়ে চলতে হবে যে বাংলার নবজাগরণ বাংলাতে হয়েছে এবং বাংলার নবজাগরণ সম্পূর্ণ বিশ্বের থেকে আলাদা একটা স্বতন্ত্র নবজাগরণ এইটুকুই নমস্কার সকলকে this young man actually compared between european renaissance and bengal renaissance and identified the essential strengths of bengal renaissance in spite of being a colonial country ruled by the british at that time so he gave a historical context and brought it to today's context how the bengal renaissance can move to the next level thank you thank you sir now now i would like to call apc3 um apc4 actually the sorry Good afternoon everyone. We will be discussing about the bilateral trade prospects between Bangladesh and India while reviewing the current trade relations between the countries. On 17 December 2020, the Prime Ministers of both the countries held a virtual summit and signed seven bilateral instruments. In order to promote cooperation, various initiatives are undertaken on bilateral trade, such as an India-Bangladesh CEO's forum was launched to provide policy-level inputs. The first meeting of the India-Bangladesh Textile Industry Forum was held to enhance collaborations. Trade relations between the nations. With a total trade volume of 10 billion US dollars, Bangladesh is India's biggest trading partner in South Asia, and India is Bangladesh's second largest trading partner. India's export to Bangladesh and Bangladesh's export to India have tripled over the past decade, indicating a fast-growing bilateral trade relation even during the times of a global pandemic. The composition of trade are complementary for both the economies and are listed here. A point worth highlighting here is the important role that India plays in Bangladesh's ready-made garment industry as a supplier of both raw material and capital goods. The need for a free trade agreement. As per World Bank's projection, Bangladesh's export to India could increase by 182% and India's export to Bangladesh by 126% if the country signed a free trade agreement. This could further be increased by the implementation of the Motor Vehicle Agreement along with the Free Trade Agreement. A Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, CEPA, which is an advanced form of free trade agreement that ensures preferential and tariff-free trade is much needed to address issues related to trade barriers. Future trade. India and Bangladesh are looking forward to step up cooperation in new areas. A CEPA will further strengthen the scope of investment. 
the countries have established four border huts on the territories for free local trade among the communities residing in the bordering areas and are planning to set up six more while the proposal for the sanction of eight are under each border hut registered an annual business of 4 crore rupees which could increase with the increase in the purchasing limit and working days they have also facilitated the partner participation of women in economic activities tremendously a partnership addressing the second bangladesh india port interest 20 the state foreign minister of bangladesh said that they intend to double its export for ready made garments over the next 5 years for which a secure and quality cotton supply was its priority and india should be on top of bangladesh's list for a win win situation for both the countries bangladesh is the second largest ready made garment exporter in the world and depends heavily on cotton by working together india and bangladesh can achieve 35% of the global textile and apparel trade stakeholders of the industry share the point of view that the two countries are not competitors and they have to grow collectively by supporting each other's strengths an idea is also echoed through india's defense minister statement that india has reiterated its commitment to deepen trade and economic ties with bangladesh as partners rather than competitors thank you thank you so much next up is apc 5 Uh, hello everyone. Hello everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Kondakar Faiz Ahmed, and uh, uh, I'm going to present uh, my presentation about the International Mother Language Day, 21st February. I'm trying to share my screen. Okay. There's some difficulty sharing my screen, so I'll just go on with my presentation. Um, well, the, the uh, language movement in 1952, it was actually beyond explanation, the impact it had in our, uh, in our country, in our nationality, in our life. It all started with the partition of 1948 when the Indian subcontinent got divided into three parts. East Pakistan, West Pakistan, and India. And we were East Pakistan, which is Bangladesh now. And uh, in 1948, uh, March 24, 1948, the, the founder of Pakistan, the Governor General Muhammad Ali Jinnah, he came to Dhaka race course and he declared that uh, Urdu should be the only national language, the only state language of Pakistan, and which means East Pakistan and West Pakistan both. And he also said that anyone who tried to mislead the Pakistanis rather than speaking Urdu will be the enemy of Pakistan. So this actually changed the perception, the whole setup of our country is Pakistanis who, who spoke Bengali. Most of us spoke Bengali actually at that time. So the students of uh, Dhaka University who were also political activists at that time, they uh, def they defended the whole idea and they broke out into protests for several years and they organized a particular protest in 1952 21st february 1952 where the protest reached its climax when uh, uh when the police actually mass murdered few of the activists and students and there are significant names that we hear salam borkot rofik but these names we would uh, whom we actually uh, introduce as, as our brothers nationally uh, that they are our brothers and we literally respect them for what they did because as a nation only we are uh, a Bengali we can say that we sacrificed our lives that day uh, for our language and uh, after years of conflict um, uh, finally finally uh, Pakistan accepted uh, Bangla as a as its official language in uh, 1956 and after that uh, the whole story changed because uh, it actually worked as a, this movement was actually 
uh, worked as a catalyst, as a uh, as a, as a patient of um, the whole Bangladesh, the whole existence of Bangladesh today. Because after that, this movement worked as a forerunner of, as we say, six point movement, and then the Bengali Language Implement Act in 1987, and then the Finally, the most important part, the liberation war in, in uh, 1971. If we uh, talk about the existence and the significance of this day, this movement, we can't actually finish it in one day or one session or one minute. It's not possible. But we still, uh, we still celebrate 21st February as a language movement day. And in 1999, UNESCO, uh, UNESCO just uh, declared this day as an international mother language day because as a nation, we are the only nation who sacrifice our life for our own language. And it has a big impact in our language, literature, culture. We celebrate one month long book fair just to respect our own language and the martyrs in this day. Uh, we also give uh, Ekusha Podok as the highest, um, as the highest uh, 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 award in our country. So as I can say that we, this day, this movement was the legacy and identity and the uh, development and the celebration of our unique existence in the world map in a different way. So we can say with respect that Amar Bhai Rangano, Ekushe February, Amiki Bulita Pari, which means we won it with blood, it will be with our blood till the end of time with the existence of this country. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. The next just coming up is just a small you. intervention. We are midway now. I would uh, request the other contestants from six onwards to reconfigure their computers with it, with their respective code names and not to displace their names, please. We don't want the names to be revealed. Okay, over to you all, Kaumudi and Jasmine. Thank you, sir. Next coming up is APC6. I'm APC6 and uh, I'm uh, presenting you the slide for uh, the economical growth of Bangladesh. So first of all, I want to say welcome from Bangladesh, the country which uh, was recognized or categorized as a bottomless bucket. And after these 50 years, now we are the rising. Sorry. So uh, <clears throat> this country, country is now recognized as itself as a rising economy in Asia. Let me describe the remarkable story of Bangladesh economic journey. From being one of the poorest nation at birth in 1971 with per capita GDP 10th lowest in the world, Bangladesh reached lower middle income status in 2015. Bangladesh now with a GDP of 409 billion US dollar rank as the 37th largest economy in the world with a per capita income of 2,554 US dollar. Behind all this successful economical journey, ready-made governments, uh, export industry and remittance is playing a heroic role. Globally, Bangladesh is the third largest RMG exporter country in the world. In 2021 and 2022, Bangladesh exports total 19.900 billion US dollar value ready-made garments at all. This sector occupies almost 84% of total export in this country. Another large contributor of this economy is remittance from overseas. Bangladesh is the eighth most remittance receiving country in the world in 2020. The country's remittance earnings reach record high of uh, 22.07 billion US dollar in 2021. In this glorious journey of development, the country established an amazing scenario of poverty reduction. Please slide, uh, next slide please. Okay. The country established an amazing scenario of poverty reduction even more than even from 50 years ago, Bangladesh was well known as a country of poverty and hunger. In here, the population living below the national poverty line dropped to 20.5% in 2019 from 24.3% in 2016. 
which was 43.3% in 1991. Bangladesh made another uh, marvelous turn by improving life expectancy in these few years. In 2020, life expectancy at birth for Bangladesh was 72.87 years. Life expectancy at birth of Bangladesh increased from 46.59 years in 1971 to 72.87 years in 2020. During the liberation war, Bangladesh lost its all communication infrastructure, infrastructure, uh, infrastructure for the war for the uh, for the pa uh, Pakistan army. There are no roads or bridges or other uh, viable media which necessary to continue a country's economical journey. But within these 50 years, Bangladesh reached the milestone to ensure village to city uninterpreted uh, uh, communication. Some of the major projects like Padma Bridge, Metro Rail, Bangamundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Channel are so close to finish up their construction, which will add a new dimension to the nation's economy. So we achieved our uh, motherland from sheer bloodshed of 3 million war heroes. They had a dream that one day Bangladesh will rise its head uh, as a wealthy nation in this world. And uh, though we, we have lots of difficulties in our path, but we believe we will oversee everything on our own day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next is APC7. Hello everyone, uh, I am ACP7 uh, and my topic today is Bengali calendar and today is the 10th uh, day of F uh, Falgun and we have celebrated the Boshandavaran few days ago and I'll be uh, today I will be talking about the ins and outs of Bengali calendar and how is its inception and its current circumstances. Next slide please. Uh, uh, when it comes to the Bengal calendar, we often uh, uh, relate it with the uh, great emperor Akbar. As, as the uh, founder of this calendar, but uh, the root of Bengali calendar can be found uh, almost uh, 1500 years ago when Shashanko was the king of uh, this Bengal region. Um, uh, during his reign in uh, 594, Shashanko made a calendar uh, regulated on the uh, one of the six Vedangs of uh, Hindu religion. And after that, uh, Alauddin Hussein Shah, one of the uh, Sultan of uh, Delhi, uh, uh, one of the Sultan of D Delhi uh, invented an, another calendar uh, uh, which, which was named as uh, Bangal Shan, which was a mixture of uh, that uh, uh, calendar made by uh, Shashank and also history calendar. Um, and uh, one of the uh, another thing is uh, our great economics, uh, Amartoshan stated that um, uh, Batsha uh, Akbar uh, was uh, credited with the uh, with the inception of Batsha Akbar credited with the inception of Tariki Ulay, which was later known as the Bengal calendar. He, um, he gave the instruction to uh, Fatihullah Shuraji, his astronomer of the court, to make a calendar uh, to regulate the uh, tax revenue or collect the tax revenue from his, um, uh, from his people. So that's why Bengal calendar, in, uh, Bengal calendar started during Akbar's reign. And um, later on, it was, um, uh, it was adopted by Mushid Kulikha, one of the Nawabs of our Bengal, uh, in 18th century and after that after the independence <coughs> after the independence of uh, before the independence of our country in 1965 bangla academy adopted this calendar and uh, later uh, fixed some errors of it and it was also redesigned uh, afterwards uh, and another thing is uh, there are some uh, next like this uh, another thing is uh, there was uh, there was separate names for each of the days in our bengal calendar beforehand but it was changed during Shah Jahan's era. And uh, now you can see the revised Bengal calendar of last year. Um, and it was also uh, lastly revised in 2018. Next slide, please. Uh, and uh, there are some celebrations or festivals that are uh, related with Bengali calendar. You can see that Pahila Boishak, the first day of the uh, Bengali calendar, the same one is Pahila Falgun, which we have celebrated a few days ago. And another one is Durga Puja, which is celebrated in uh, 
Ashwin of uh, Bengali calendar, Ashwin month of Bengali calendar, and uh, the Naban note shop, which has which are being celebrated at uh, the first day of Agrayon. And another one is post Shankradin, the ending of the winter festival, which I have celebrated uh, a few months ago. So that's all from me. And these are uh, my presentation on the Bengal calendar. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Next, this I would one. like to call APC. No, this was six or seven. It was not clear. It this was is... seven, sir. Where is six? This one okay, was okay. done, 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 done. Okay, it's okay. Sorry, continue. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I will talk about 75 years of Indian independence. India got independence from the British Raj on the 15th of August, 1947. When the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. These were the exact words of India's first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. The nation with the second most population in the world has come a long way. Freedom was not only from foreign rule or specifically the British Empire. It was freedom from oppression. It was freedom of speech and expression, which every citizen got. It was freedom of self. But above all, it was freedom from poverty. The nation has truly lived Pandit Nehru's statement. Standing on the 75th year of independence, the nation has actually come a long way. Today, our literacy rates have increased significantly. Our poverty and infant mortality rates have reduced drastically. Our armed forces are one of the best in the world. The Indian languages have got recognition worldwide. We are no longer limited to the foreign English language. The farmers of this country no longer need to pay heavy taxes like that in the British era. To quote Narendra Modi, India's current prime minister, India is indebted to all her freedom fighters for the independence from foreign rule. I would not name only a few of them as it would be a disrespect to the other martyrs. We are indebted to those thousands of martyrs who laid their lives for the freedom of India. Those brave hearts will be proud to see India of today. The India where women feel a lot more free. The India which is one of the biggest emerging economies of the world. Today, we Indians are heading towards an Atma Nirbhar Bharat, something our forefathers had dreamt of. However, a lot more needs to be done for achieving a fully happy India. Equality needs to be achieved to the fullest. The necessity of food and education needs to reach every citizen, especially the children. Every woman should feel free in this nation. Only then can we say proudly, Sare jahan se achha, Hindusta hamara, jai hind. Thank you so much. Next up, I'd like to request APC 9 to come up and present. Good afternoon, one and all. I hope my PPT is visible. Yes, 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 it is visible. Thank you. Good afternoon, one and all. My topic is Indian handloom industry, a hallmark of Indian culture. Indian handloom industry is one of the oldest and largest cottage industry in India with a long tradition of excellent craftsmanship, representing and preserving the vibrant Indian culture. Indian artisans are appreciated globally for their hand spinning weaving and printing elements. Almost every state in India has a unique handloom product to offer, such as the Fulkari from Punjab, the Chanderi from Madhya Pradesh, the Ikat from Andhra Pradesh, the Bandi from Gujarat and Rajasthan, Brocade from Banaras, Chicken Kari from Uttar Pradesh, Kanjivaram from Tamil Nadu, Paitini from Maharashtra, Dhakai from West Bengal, which is popular to the whole region 
of Bengal, including our neighbor, Bangladesh. It is made with an elaborate 16 step process with a rare cotton that is only grown along the banks of the river Meghna. This cloth is considered to be one of the greatest treasures and one of the most valuable fabrics on this planet. In fact, Dhaka was one of, once known as the Manchester of India. Indian handloom is rich in variety and in intricacy and design. Over 125 countries globally are buying hand, Indian handloom products. The operation of this industry are primarily household based. The sector is one of the largest unorganized, economically active in the country, providing employment to a 43.31 lakh weavers from rural and semi-urban areas, most of which are women and people from economically disadvantaged groups. Strengths of the sector include minimal use of capital and power, environmental friendly production, and geographically diverse bouquet of products. According to India's third handloom census in 2009-10, Nearly 27.83 lakh handloom households are, are engaged in weaving and allied activities, of which majority are in rural areas. A vast majority of Indian handlooms are located in the northeastern region of India, which accounts to nearly 65.2%. And Assam leads with 47% of the workforce. The imports of Indian handloom products in India in the year 2017-18 was estimated to 10.8 million US dollars. And Bangladesh has been the largest contributor here. India is also the second largest exporter of handloom products. But despite the huge demand of Indian handlooms, India has not been able to increase its footfall in the global market. This is largely due to the increasing competition from our neighboring economies, such as Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh, post removal of the preferential duty by Europe in 2014. The lack of modernization, lack of modernization, changing consumer preferences, high production cost, and market dynamics have also contributed to the overall decline in the exports. We can overcome these problems by working together like the OPEC and the ASEAN. We can stand together and create a centralized market with healthy competition so that we can stabilize the prices and aim for greater profit for all. We become price deciders not price acceptors. We need to remember we have a unique and indigenous handloom tradition, the recognition and development of our shared handloom heritage. Like Dhakai is something we must strive to achieve. This can only come to represent this synergy of goals and further achievements of the two nations. As together, we always achieve more. Let's stand together to reach greater heights for a hand loom, hand loom unites us. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Now I would like to call APC 10, please. It was nice. It was nice, Andy. It was nice. APC 9, please uh, mute your mic. Yes. APC 9, please mute yourself. Uh, am I audible? Thank you. Yes, you are audible. Good afternoon, Manu. I had a 10 minute speech know? and then we get to know yesterday that it is supposed to be in 4 minutes. APC, APC 9. 9, please mute. Learn these things. You are 2 years into the pandemic. Uh, should I start? Yes, please start. Good afternoon, one and all. Did you guys know that India's first passenger train was started over 150 years ago from now? Amazing, right? Let us know a little more about Indian Railways moving across borders and connecting people. The credit for starting Indian Railways goes to then Governor General Lord Dalhousie. That is why he is called as Father of Indian Railways. On 22nd December 1851, the East India Company launched first goods train to carry loads and goods from Uttarakhand. The first passenger train was inaugurated on 16th April 1853. This train used to travel 34 kilometers from Boribandar in Mumbai to Thane. The first train had three different engines named Sahib, Sindh and Sultan. 
the train had 14 coaches in total and carried about 400 passengers. The British government was importing raw materials from India. Soon, this railway, which was mode of transport back then, took the form of social reform. In the aftermath of War, War of Independence and the partition, Indian railways carried millions of people to their home. After independence, 32 private railway lines of Raja Maharajas was reopened to accommodate 42 new railway lines. Indian Railways, which was nationalized in 1951, is today's the first largest railway network in entire Asia. Indian Railways provides employment to nearly 1.5 million people. That is a huge number. Also, it has been ranked fourth largest railway network in the entire world. The total surface area of railway is 67,956 kilometers. Indian Railways has 2,93,077 goods coaches, 76,608 passenger coaches, and 12,729 locomotives. After this, many special trains were started. The Palace on Wheels is one of the first luxury trains in the country and the fourth best one in the world. In 1911, Indian Railways, in association with Impact India Foundation and Ministry of Health, started the Lifeline Express. It has seven air-conditioned compartments and provides free curative, surgical healthcare and many more medical facilities. Indian Railways carries about 22 million people throughout 12,617 trains per day. In 2008, Maitri Express was flagged off connecting Kolkata with Dhaka. Recently, the central government of India announced that new railway line connecting Bangladesh with India will be ready very soon. The railway line between Agartala and Akura would pave the way for first train to run from northeastern region of India to Bangladesh. This connection of India and Bangladesh with railways will enhance network access even more. Also, it will aid and support the trade and economic development of the region. Even though air travel have become fast, easy and accessible today, the train journey is always memorable. It might be the train, whether it is the sound of train engine, the fun of bending over a window to look at nature or just sitting in front of each other, sharing food and chatting. It's little more fun every time you experience it. Indeed, in a vast country like India, if there is one facilitator who connects the people and the borders here, it is our own Indian railways. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now I'd like to call upon APC 11. Welcome and good afternoon, everyone. I am Soboshachita Shudro, and thanks to the administration for giving me this honor to talk about the cultural fairs that are celebrated in my country, Bangladesh. Bangladesh has a vast culture to celebrate. The Bengali Prova Baromashe Taro Parbon drives the point which shows the integrated part of the festivals to us. Festivals are interconnected to our every part as politics, nationality, socioculture. Now, I'll describe some of the festivals in my further presentation. Excellent, please. The very first festival I'll describe is the Navabarsha, or as we may call it, Bengali New Year. Novo means new and Borsho means year. Mughal Empire, uh, Akbar began the celebration of Bengali New Year and it has been officialized to uh, is the tax collection process at the beginning of the year. Although it is not tradition of uh, only Bangladeshi people, rather people who speak Bengali all over the world. Boshantu Chop means uh, celebration of spring. Uh, it's very joyous occasion for Bengalis. Girls wear orange or yellow saris and boys wear colorful Punjabis to welcome spring. Uh, other than that, some day-long cultural shows are here to rejoice this beautiful festival. And now we'll talk about Navanu Uchab. Navanu Uchab is one of the most ancient festivals that we celebrate. 
uh, Novano means new crop or new rice. Uh, it is also known as new harvest festival. Uh, it is mainly celebrated by making various types of pitas. Uh, if I may say that pita is mainly a kind of sweet or pancake alike thing, uh, but with the Bengali You are muted. You are muted. You re you unmute yourself. You are muted. APC 11, you are on mute. To witness this sport. Even though it is very similar uh, to rowing, but it has a special Bengali flavor in it, as, as we are renowned as uh, a country of river. Boimela started as a mere uh, book fair, but after pressing, after passing so many times, it has turned into a national cultural festival. The Boy Mela also interlinked with 1952's protest against Pakistan to regain Bangla as a state language. This is why the book fair is also called Omo Rekushe Boy Mela. It began in 1972 informally at uh, Bangla Academy premises, but in 1978, the organization took the responsibility to arrange uh, the fair every year. Now, last but not the least, Shakrain. Shakrain is mainly a kite festival. Uh, this festival is celebrated at the end of the ninth month, uh, which is also known as uh, Poshmash. And it is very important occasion that, that indicates friendship and unity. And, and now that I have come to the end of my presentation, I want to thank all of you again for giving me the, the privilege to talk about my culture. And I'll take a leave. Thank you. Thank you, APC 11. Now I, I would like to call up APC 12, please. Namaskar. Unushtane Uposti, Sakolke. I'm a Namaskar Jani. I'm a Mabokta Bosulgochi. I'm a Achke Bangladesh, Ponchas Bashoni, Ishu Bokta Burago, Bangladesh. Hadinot Hadinata Lap Kurashilo Unisto Akato Saler Solo I December Pray Noi Mas Dore Chola at Mukti Judder Pore. A Mukti Judate Amrajudi Deki Pray uh Du Lakeru Vesi Manus Hotta Kurashilo Pakistani Army Ebon Koyak Laker Vesi Mohila Dhosida Hoy Chilen Taisomoy Bangladesh Giorgio Dito Chilo Bekar Bangladesh Giorgio Dito Chilo Giorgio Dito Chilo Bang Bangladesh Aisoma Giorgio Dito Chilo a পরিকাঠামোগত ধ্বংস এবং খাদ্য সংকটে জর্জরিত একটি দেশ এবং তার ঠিক পরের বছর অর্থাৎ 1972 সালে জানুয়ারি মাসে টাইম ম্যাগাজিনে প্রকাশিত একটি রিপোর্ট অনুযায়ী যেখানে বলা হয়েছিল যে বাংলাদেশের ফরেন রিজার্ভ মাত্র 16 টাকা কিন্তু আজকে যদি আমরা দেখি যে এই 50 বছরে বাংলাদেশের ফরেন এক্সচেঞ্জ রিজার্ভ আজ পৌঁছে গেছে 40 বিলিয়ন ডলারেরও বেশি এই or Bobhaboni অর্থনৈতিক উন্নয়নে পিছনে রয়েছে কয়েক দশক ধরে চলা এক প্রচেষ্টা প্রায় এক সময় বাংলাদেশের বাংলাদেশের কাহিনী ছিল যে প্রায় হাজার মাইলের পর মাইল মাইলের পর মাইল মাঠের মধ্যে ধান ক্ষেতের মধ্যে দিয়ে চলা স্কুলে যাওয়া এবং এবং হারকিন বা মোমবাতির আলোয় পড়াশোনা করার কাহিনী ছিল বাংলাদেশের কাহিনী into বর্তমানে বাংলাদেশ প্রায় বিশ্বের এক অন্যতম বড় শিক্ষা শিক্ষা ক্ষেত্র যেখানে প্রায় 20 লাখেরও বেশি ছাত্রছাত্রী রয়েছে এবং 2 লাখের বেশি শিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠান রয়েছে এই বাংলাদেশের 5 থেকে 15 বছর বয়সী অর্থাৎ প্রাথমিক শিক্ষা প্রাথমিক শিক্ষার্থীদের মধ্যে শিক্ষার হার শিক্ষার হার প্রায় 100 শতাংশ এবং বাংলাদেশের অর্থনৈতিক দিকে দিকে যদি আমরা দেখি তাহলে এখন নতুন 2021 এ প্রকাশিত ট্যাক্স অনুযায়ী বাংলাদেশের অর্থনৈতিক অর্থনৈতিক শক্তিতে নারীদের অংশগ্রহণ প্রায় 40 শতাংশ যেটা কিনা যে কোনো দক্ষিণ পূর্ব এশিয়ার দেশদের মধ্যে বৃহৎ সবচেয়ে বড় সংখ্যা এবং বর্তমানে বাংলাদেশের বাংলাদেশ সাধু জলের মাছ রপ্তানিতে তৃতীয় স্থান অধিকার করেছে এবং পাটজাত দ্রব্যতে বাংলাদেশের স্থান প্রথমে এবং সবচেয়ে বেশি যে অভাবনীয় উন্নতি করেছে বাংলাদেশ যে ক্ষেত্রে সেটা হলো কাপড় তৈরি বস্ত্র তৈরি বস্ত্র তৈরি শিল্পতে এবং 
बहुसंख्यक महिला मध्य दिए सहस ए प्राण शक्ति देखते पाई बांगलेश तरुण उद्योगपति मध्य शिक्षक शिक्षार्थी छड़े दिखान विश्व नाना प्रतिष्ठान उन्नत कम्पानी गुलाबाद and what bangladesh is in 2022 with respect to economy society education health and many other aspects on several indices how in 50 years remarkable growth in an asian country has been achieved that is his subject thank you so much sir uh, and with this we conclude our student ideas exchange program segment Thank you so much again to all the student participants for their amazing presentations. And now we like to move on to our cultural. Handing it over to you. Thank you, Jasmine. Now I would like to start our cultural segment. Ravindranath Tagore, the man of universal synthesis, laid great emphasis on cultural exchanges of ideas. The grand progenitor of Ravindra Sangeet strongly felt that. music fills the infinite between two souls here we are under the auspices of amrit pravah trying to build bridges through arts music and culture in this cultural segment presented by the students of daffodil international university and gurunanak khalsa college autonomous in a way we are linking ganga and padma yamuna and meghana into a unified zone celebrating the composite culture and shared values of india and bangladesh we start with the poetry recitation by our friends across the padma who are reciting poetry on 21st february valentines day and basant utsav followed by dances of bangladesh let's have a look hello shubho madhyanno सकल के स्वागत आयोजन सांस्कृतिक पर्व अमृत प्रवाह एम एक आयोजन स्वनमधन्य शिक्षा प्रतिष्ठान शिक्षार्थी मे शिक्षा संस्कृति और भाव बनीमय मंच तैरी साधुबाद धन्यवाद चाहिए डेफोडिल इंटरनैशनल इनिटी भारत विश्वभारती विश्वविद्यालय इंटरनेशनलिटी Vishwavarati University of India and Guru Nanak Khalsa College also from India Daffodil International University er uddoge ajker chamukprodo ayojon Amrito Prabaher Sanskritik Porbe Daffodil International University er pokkho theke kobita abritti niye asche Majharul Haq Muhajir As the beginning performance of Daffodil International University Majharul Haq Muhajir is going to recite a poem welcome mohajir the platform is yours dhonnobad dhonnobad shobai ke february mash bhashar mash আমরা জানি আমাদের এই পৃথিবীতে নানান মানুষের নানান ধরনের ভাষা কিন্তু আমরা একটি জাতি যে গর্বিত জাতি রক্ত দিয়েছি এই ভাষার জন্য আমরা সেই জাতি যারা এই ভাষাকে রক্ষার জন্য প্রাণ দিয়েছি তাই গর্ব করে বলতে হয় আমি বাঙালি আর তারিফ প্রেক্ষাপট নিয়ে আমি আবৃত্তি করব 
আমাদের স্বনামধন্য কবি আল মাহমুদের একুশে কবিতা আশা করি যারা শুনছেন দেখছেন আপনারা সবাই খুব উপভোগ করবেন এবং ভালো লাগবে ফেব্রুয়ারির একুশ তারিখ দুপুর বেলা রক্ত বৃষ্টি নামে বৃষ্টি কোথায় বরকতের রক্ত হাজার যুগের সূর্য তাপে জ্বলবে এমন লাল যে সেই লোহিতেই লাল হয়েছে কৃষ্ণ চূড়ার ডাল যে প্রভাত ফেরির মিছিল যাবে ছড়াও ফুলের বন্যা বিষাদ গীতি গাইছে পথে তিতুমিরের কন্যা চিনতে নাকি সোনার ছেলে ক্ষুদিরাম কি চিনতে রুদ্ধ শ্বাসে প্রাণ দিল যে মুক্ত বাতাস কিনতে পাহাড় তলির মরণ চূড়ায় ঝাঁপ দিল যে অগ্নি ফেব্রুয়ারির শোকের বসন করল তার ভগ্নি প্রভাত ফেরি প্রভাত ফেরি আমায় নেবে সঙ্গে বাংলা আমার পচন আমি জন্মেছি এই বঙ্গে ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে ফেব্রুয়ারি মাস আমাদের মাতৃভাষার জন্য অধিকার আদায়ের মাস ভাষার মাসে একুশের চমৎকার কবিতাটি আবৃত্তির জন্য ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি মহাজিরকে উইড লাইক টু থ্যাঙ্ক মহাজির ফর হিজ ওয়ান্ডারফুল রিসাইটেশন ফেব্রুয়ারি ইজ মান্থ ফর রিয়েলাইজিং দ্য সিগনিফিকেন্স অফ আর মাদার টাং থ্যাংক ইউ ফর দিস ওয়ান্ডারফুল পয়েম মহাজির ইন দ্য মান্থ অফ ইন্টারন্যাশনাল মাদার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ডে সেলিব্রেশন দলগত একটি নাচ উপভোগ করব নৃত্য পরিবেশন করবে ডেফোডিল ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইউনিভার্সিটির All Easters, Daffodil Club, and Shadow Show Bingo. Now it's time to call for a group dance. The dance will be performed by the members of All Easters, Daffodil Club of Daffodil International University. We'll take a minute for their announcement. There is no audio.
रोईते नारी घरे प्राण हल दासिल मदल बजे बजे बाशेर बाशी मदल बजे बजे बाशेर बाशी हमारनाथ श्रीहट्ट अंचल बड़कोपत्य अंचल अत्यंत प्रसिद्ध प्राचीन एक नृत्य रीति बला है जे विभिन्न रकम उत्सव होते होते कारो मुखे भात होते व्रत महिला एक संगे जड़ो हम गोल हुए हाथे ताली दिए धामाइल नाच करते थे एबार धामाइल नाच और बऊ नाच
ধন্যবাদ অল স্টার্স ডেফোডিল কে এত সুন্দর একটি নৃত্য পরিবেশনের জন্য বসন্তের এই শুরুতে একটি বসন্তের কবিতা না শুনলেই নয় বসন্ত পরণের কবিতা নিয়ে আসছে ডেফোডিল ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইউনিভার্সিটির সাংবাদিকতা মিডিয়া ও গণযোগাযোগ বিভাগের শিক্ষার্থী মানিক মোহাম্মদ ওমর a great performance by Ulster Daffodil. What a performance. All of the crowds are enjoying. Uh, I, I, I think that the honorable guests are also enjoying the performance. Uh, thanks to Ulster Daffodil again. At this very beginning of spring, Mr. Manik Mohamed Omar, a student of journalism, media, and communication of Daffodil International University, is coming with a poem about spring. সবাইকে বাসন্তী শুভেচ্ছা জানিয়ে শুরু করছি কবিতা পর্ব থেকে বসন্ত সন্ধ্যায় আমি কবিতা পর্ব কবি সুব্রত পালের কবিতার নাম থেকে বসন্ত সন্ধ্যায় নিজেকে দেখাতে গিয়ে শুধু তোমাকেই দেখছি এই বসন্ত সন্ধ্যায় সমস্ত আড়াল অভিমান সমস্ত সীমারেখা উপেক্ষা করে আজ তোমারই সামনে এসেছি এই আনমনা মন মনের ভেতর তরঙ্গ এই ভ্রুভঙ্গি এই ঠুটের উচ্চারণ সব কিছু যদি আলাদা মনে হয় এসো তাহলে স্পর্শে বুঝি দুরন্ত অস্থিরতা এসো ক্রমাগত আঁকড়ে ধরি এসো ক্রমাগত আঁকড়ে ধরে বাঁচার চেষ্টা করি হে আমার কাঙ্ক্ষিত প্রেম আগে তো বলনি কখনো ভালোবাসায় এত কষ্ট থাকে এত আলোড়ন এত নিঃসঙ্গতা কখনো কিছু তো বুঝে নিও কিছু অনুচ্চারিত শব্দ কিছু সমুদ্র ফেনায় ছিটে ফুটা যন্ত্রণা বুঝে নিও আজ পূর্ণিমা নাকি অমাবস্যা আকাশে চাঁদ আছে কি নেই কিচ্ছু জানি না আমি শুধু বসন্ত জানি আর জানি তোমাকে তাই তো তোমারই সামনে এসেছি তোমাকে দেখছি দেখছি বর্ষার মতো করে কান্নার মতো করে স্পর্ধার মতো করে ইচ্ছের মতো করে শুধু তোমাকে দেখছি অথচ আমি নিজেকে দেখাতে এসেছিলাম এই বসন্ত সন্ধ্যায় ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ ওমর এই পর্যায়ে আমরা মঞ্চ ছেড়ে দিচ্ছি গুরু নানক খালসা কলেজের জন্য থ্যাংক ইউ ওমর নাও উই আর গোইং টু হ্যান্ড ওভার দা প্ল্যাটফর্ম ফর গুরু নানক খালসা কলেজ ফর देयर কালচারাল পারফরম্যান্স থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ থ্যাংক ইউ ফর অল দা ওয়ান্ডারফুল পারফরম্যান্সেস এন্ড নাও আফটার আ ভেরি সিন্টিলেটিং এন্ড হার্ড টাগিং পারফরম্যান্সেস অফ আওয়ার फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम डीआईयू It is now the turn of the students of Guru Nanak Khalsa College Autonomous to express themselves through the medium of art and culture. We start with the anthem that Gurudev thought befitting for the universe. First is Gagan Me Thal Rav Arti. Gagan Me Thal is an arti recited by Guru Nanak Dev Ji in 1506 
at Jagadnath Temple, Puri. Kobi Guru Rabindranath Tagore once asked by Balraj Sani, who used to teach at Vishwa Bharti Shanti Niketan, why doesn't Gurudev write an anthem for the world? Tagore replied that it was already written in the 16th century by Guru Nanak at Jagadnath Puri. Tagore truly affirmed that this anthem was not only for the world, but for the entire universe. चंद दीपक बने तार का मंडल चंद मोती तूप मले आनलो पवन चमरो सगल बनराय फुलंत ज्योति कैसी आरती होए पव खंडना तेरी आरती अनहता शब्द वाजंत भेरी सस पाव नैन नन नैन है तो हे को सस मूरत ना एक तो ही सस पाद बिमल नन एक पत गंद लिन सस पाव गंद देव चलत मोही सब में जोत जोत है सोए सब में जोत जोत है सोए इस चानन सत में चानन होए गुर साखी जोत पर कट हो This anthem is to be followed by Name Preet Narayan Lagi, sung and composed by the father son duo Ustad Kuldeep Singh Ji and his shagird Ghazal Mestro Jaswinder Singh. Coincidentally, both the Guru and Shishya, father and son, are proud alumni of Guru Nanak Khalsa College, Bombay. A side note, we have shot this second video at our college, Guru Nanak Khalsa College, Gurdwara. सहज सुहाय भयो बैरागी सहज सुहाय भयो बैरागी नाम पीत नारायण लागी नाम पीत नारायण लागी
In the forthcoming video, our student team consisting of the Panch Mahaput, five girls from our first year BA MMC are celebrating spring in its all yellowy splendor within the hallowed presence of our college. Three songs back to back are to revel and reverberate in the resonance of Trinity in unity. They have taken the songs of Fakir Lolan, Tagore, and our dear Kazin Nazrul to present Bangla Ball Buoyancy. Thank you. Shero Shone We take the idea further to pay a tribute to the eternal memory of Lata Mangeshkar. Our two performers, Sapna Jagtap and Kaumuti Vaidya, are singing and whistling, giving expression to the Lata Mai universe.
मुझे आपकी नजरों ने समझा रहे न रहे हम महका करेंगे बन के कली बन के सबा बागे वफा में रहे न रहे हम मौसम कोई हो इस चमन में रंग बन के रहेंगे चाहत की खुशबू यो ही जुल्फो से उड़ेगी फिजाओं यू ही झूमते यू ही झूमते और खिलते रहेंगे बन के कली बन के सबा बागे वफा में रहे न रहे हम महका करेंगे बन के कली बन के सबा बागे वफा में रहे न रहे हम थैंक यू थैंक यू such beautiful performances thank you so much komudi and sapna students of gurunanak khalsa college autonomous culminate their cultural segment through damadam mast kalandar sung by runa lela and shot at the dilip kumar auditorium at gurunanak khalsa college autonomous Finally, the finale. Students of Ephodil International University, Dhaka, Bangladesh, are now taking us through the song track of Bangladesh that includes Ravindra, Nasrul, Lalon, and folk songs, conveying the message of love and goodwill, peace and harmony. Thank you. Here. Thank <laughs> you. 
ভালোবাসা সম্প্রীতির এই আয়োজনে একটি কবিতা নিয়ে আসছে ডাফোডিল ইন্টারন্যাশনাল It will be presented by Sharmin Nishu of Daffodil International University. This performance will spread out love and harmony. Welcome, Sharmin Nishu. Shubho Aparanna. February Bhashar Mash, February Boshantir Mash, February Bhalo Bashar Mash. And in Bhalo Bashar Mash, I am going to talk about Jai Goshamir. মালতিবালা বালিকা বিদ্যালয় বেনিমাধব কবিতা বেনিমাধব বেনিমাধব তোমার বাড়ি যাব বেনিমাধব তুমি কি আর আমার কথা ভাবো বেনিমাধব মোহনবাসী তমাল তরুতল মলে বাজিয়েছিলেন আমি তখন মারুতি স্কুলে ডেস্কে বসে অঙ্ক করি ছোট্ট ক্লাস ঘর বাইরে দিদিমণির পাশে দিদিমণির পর আমি তখন নবম শ্রেণী আমি তখন শাড়ি আলাপ হলো বেনিমাধব সুলেখাদের বাড়ি বেনিমাধব বেনিমাধব লেখাপড়ায় ভালো শহর থেকে বেড়াতে এলে আমার রং কালো তোমায় দেখে এক দৌড়ে পালিয়ে গেছি ঘরে বেনিমাধব আমার বাবা দোকানে কাজ করে গুঞ্জে অলি গুঞ্জে তবু ফুটেছে মঞ্জুরি সন্ধেবেলা পড়তে বসে অঙ্কে ভুল করি আমি তখন নবম শ্রেণী আমি তখন ষোলো ব্রিজের ধারে বেনিমাধব লুকিয়ে দেখা হলো বেনিমাধব বেনিমাধব এত দিনের পরে সত্যি বলো সেসব কথা এখনো মনে পড়ে সেসব কথা বলেছ তুমি তোমার প্রেমিকাকে আমি কেবল একটি দিন তোমার পাশে তাকে দেখেছিলাম আলোর নিচে অপূর্ব সে আলো স্বীকার করি দুজনকেই মানিয়েছিল ভালো জুড়িয়ে দিল চোখ আমার পুড়িয়ে দিল চোখ বাড়িতে এসে বলেছিলাম ওদের ভালো হোক রাতে এখন ঘুমোতে চাই একতলার ঘরে মেঝের উপর বিছানা পাতা জোসনা এসে পড়ে আমার পরে যে বোন ছিল চোরা পথের বাঘে মিলিয়ে গেছে জানি না আজ কার সঙ্গে থাকে আজ জুটেছে কাল কি হবে কালের ঘরে শনি আমি এখন এই পাড়ার সেলাই দিদিমণি তবু আগুন বেনিমাধব আগুন জলে কই কেমন হবে আমিও যদি নষ্ট মেয়ে হই ধন্যবাদ সবাই ধন্যবাদ নিশু কি জাদু বাংলা গানে গান গিয়ে দেয় মাঝি টানে বাংলা গান আপামোর জনতার সর্বসাধারণের তাই গানে গানে আজকের এই আয়োজনের সাংস্কৃতি পর্ব শেষ করতে ডেফোডিল ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইউনিভার্সিটির সাংবাদিকতা মিডিয়া ও গণযোগাযোগ বিভাগের শিক্ষার্থীদের গানের দল ভৈরবীকে মঞ্চে পরিবেশনের আহ্বান জানিয়ে বিদায় নিচ্ছি আমি সুরাইয়ারিয়া ও আমার সাথের সঙ্গী আবরিফাত We'll end the cultural session with another live performance by Daffodil International University. Without a song, the nectar follow of arrangement would remain incomplete. That is why we are concluding our cultural episode of today's event with cultural song. I'm bidding farewell after welcoming the students of Department of Journalism, Media and Communication of Daffodil International University to perform a song on his stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the team of Bhairabi of Daffodil International University coming on stage to present the folk songs of Bangladesh. Hello. Hello.
Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hello, hello. Robindra Nath Thakur. Robindra Nath Thakur, the Nobel Prize winner and the world royal recognized poet, has a vast history with Bangladesh also. He certainly not belong to just one nation, but for all of us. The greatest literary icon contributed so much in Bengali music. And as you know, music and overall culture cannot be divided into country-wise. Our performers are going to perform one of his creations now. Our team is going to perform a Nazrul Giti. Kaji Nazrul Islam is the national poet of our country. We will always be grateful to him for all of his contributions. He is also known as the revelous poet. He wrote various genres of music. When you listen to the word secular, very few names comes in mind. Nazrul Islam is one of those few. In spite of being a Muslim, he wrote Shema Shangit as well as Gajols also. He has a big part to play in Bengali folk songs. This performance is tribute to this poetic Lalonsha, another great minstrel of Bangladesh, who when we say the world secular previously reminds of Nazrul Islam, the other name would be Lalons. His whole life he believed in nothing but the humanity. 
At his time, he was quite controversial for all the literature he wrote because of extremists. Rabindranath Thakur was heavily influenced by Lalon Shah. It takes vocal caliber to sing his songs, which performers will do now. Raise your hand and have a clap because our performer is going to perform a Baal song. Shah Abdul Karim is known as a Baal Shamrat. His contribution to Baal music is enormous. Even though he is widely recognized as the great Baal musician, he broke the stereotype of Baals by getting married. He was awarded with Ekushi in 2001 by Bangladesh government. Now, last but can possibly never be the least, the team of Bhairabi and Jaffabil International University is going to perform a beautiful bowl song. Prima Kura Lama Pra Bundur Shani Amar ke jai din 
team thank you all that is the end of our performances hopefully you are, you all have enjoyed thank you With this, we conclude our cultural segment of today's program. Thank you so much for having me and Kaumudi as your hosts. And now we'd like to hand it over to Praveesh, sir. Thank you. Well, uh, what started as a trickle is now a deluge. What started as a discussion with Yogesh, my friends, Yogesh, generation has found manifestation and in these moments we can touch eternity the sadhya is of the composite culture of this subcontinent it's it celebrated in true sense the idea of india the secular syncretic uh, plural diverse culture of when i say india i'm talking about the indian subcontinent the subcontinental synthesis of sar zameen -e hind and sar zameen -e pakistan uh yogi Kumar joined late but it was under his guidance that we um you know shot the first um uh, ibrahim adil shah's hymn to uh, goddess saraswati I would crave your indulgence, um, my dear friends from um, Daffodils International University. For the next three, four minutes, I'll just like to replay two things to showcase it to um, uh, Yogesh Pawar. Uh, I know it, would, it is breaking protocol, but no, it is my uh, sincere, heart-tugging, uh, earnest appeal to each one of you. So I would request uh, Kaumudi and um, um, uh, Jasmine to play uh, first the uh, first the uh, 
hymn sung by Sri Vidya Sri Sri Hari, and secondly, the Damodam Mast Kalandar. When I found our counterparts, our student counterparts at Daffodils International University dancing away to glory, and this is shot at the Dilip Kumar Auditorium of our college. Dilip sir is a proud alumnus of our first batch of Guru Nanak Khalsa College, Bombay. So I would crave your intelligence, ladies and gentlemen, to, to repeat this once again. And if uh, Daffodils wants an international university, wants some things, once again, we can have it. Because this moments will not, we cannot relive these moments once again. It is just going to be in our memory file. So please go ahead, play the Saraswati hymn of Sri Hari, and then the Damadam Mast Kalandar, short at the Dilip Kumar Auditorium of the college. Uh, uh, Yogesh Power, I hope uh, you would like the video and your guidance is bearing fruit. Ketan Vaidya's intervention to bring this particular Amrit Prabha into uh, a dream turning into a reality, I owe it to both of you. Thank you. I want to thank you, Pravesh, for having me. Pleasure is all ours. And I hope Dr. Simran Chawala would agree on this. And I want to congratulate the college for having such a great event. We've been doing some amazing stuff. And this is truly, truly exceptional. Thank you, Yogesh. Uh, Komadi, can you please play it once again, my dear? Please, quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. Alif 
Thank you, thank you, Komadi. Thank you, each and every one for, and I'm very grateful for forging this, uh, you know, the the fostering the amity. We will not take much time now. We will call the the verdict is awaited, of course, by Ujwal Kumar Chaudhary Sahab and uh, Basavi Pal Madam at the after. Uh, we want to evoke uh, um, uh, some amount of impressions from you, what you felt about the thing and what what is the road ahead? How do we take the ideas further? Because academicians and people from the media are here and we are fundamentally in the same course of mass media um, and uh, multimedia and mass communication. So it would be worthwhile to get elicit a view from starting from Ujwal Kumar Chaudhary and then from to each one from Daffodils University and Shanti Niketan and of course Yogesh Pawar and Whosoever wishes to talk. Uh, you do not want me to tell the result just now. Very impressive because, you know, three uh, philosophies, the Islamic philosophy, the Sikh philosophy, and the Hindu philosophy, three philosophies, three institutes, Khalsa College, Shantiniketan, and Daffodil University, two nations, India and Bangladesh, three cities, uh, Shantiniketan, that is uh, Vishwabharati area, and uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, Bombay and Dhaka mingled together. Even the languages, they were in Gurmukhi, in Hindi, and English, and uh, Bangla, obviously. So this blend is so rare. These days, we are increasingly, some at times, becoming exclusive. What is important is inclusive to be inclusive. I really appreciate Pravesh ji for calling this whole idea, bringing this to reality. People talk about inclusivity, doing something involving the youth to, for upholding that spirit of inclusivity is fabulous. I appreciate the young performers from both the institutions very well. Uh, my young friends from Daffodil, you gave a lo lovely live performance. I can see the, the the auditorium there, I can see all of you there sitting and giving a live performance. And these two ladies from uh, Guru Nanak Khalsa College, fabulous work, uh, the two ladies, Sneha and I think Komodi. Fabulous work indeed. I really appreciate the 12 contestants from the three institutions, including Vishwa Bharati, to make their presentations as well. Diverse subjects were taken. Thank you. Some of the things I knew first time. I knew already and some of the things I learned first time. Thank you. Back to you, Pravesh ji. Uh, some dignitaries from the Daffodils uh, University, Aftab, Professor Aftab Uzain, the head department of uh, journalism, uh, media and communication, JMC. Uh, can you take the lead and call people from... Uh, yes.
for giving us the opportunity to perform. Also, I believe and I have seen that. Hello. Can you hear me? Is the air audible? We can hear you. Please speak. We can hear you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to participate in this great program. And also, I believe that most of our students came from different parts of Bangladesh. And also, uh, for this program to perform live, as you all know, we just opened yesterday after a long uh, COVID. Uh, uh, yes, uh, due to COVID-19, our academic institutions were closed and we just opened yesterday. So it was very difficult for the preparation, but our students and uh, especially our uh, lecturer, Mr. Saidur Rahman Khan, who guided the students to come from different parts of Bangladesh to for the rehearsal. And last week we had rehearsed. And I think you have seen already the performances and some of the comments were very uh, heart touching for us as, as the department. So thank you everyone and thank you uh, Guru Nanak Khalsa College. Thank you, uh, Vishwabharat University. Thanks to our honorable dean, sir, our faculty members, our officers, administrative officers, and especially our IT team, Media Lab. And last but not the least, our students who made this program very good and very uh, effective. And I invite Vishwabharati and um, Guru Nanak Khalsa College to visit us at the Daffodil International University for further exchanges. I would love to uh, be the host to invite you here at least for, an week, uh, for a week. So we can uh, perform these performances later, uh, not only online, but in person. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Aftab, allow me to add, um, okay. we, okay. Are, we are organizing at if Gurnanak Khalsa College team and the Vishwabharati team actually come. Details can be shared. And you just have to reach Dhaka. All hospitality will be taken care of in Dhaka. So that would be a good continuation. And, and the spirit of Banhomi and coming together should not end with this. Yeah, no. Amin, Amin, Amin. Inshallah and Insha Krishna will be there. I hope uh, my hierarchy here, uh, Vice Principal Madam, Department of BMMC. On a video of Aftar, you can please mute the device. Yes, yes please. Um, thank you, yes, Aftar. Yeah. Thank you, Aftar. Uh, madam, you want to say something? Uh, no, carry on. I would like to hear what the guests are saying. Yes, yes. Uh, I would uh, invite Dr. Vasabi Pal. She is the head of. Yes, yes. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you so much. Chandar Nagar uh, uh, College, Government College. Yes. Uh, she belongs to a royal lineage, but she has uh, shed all those trappings of uh, royalty and uh, you know entered this field of academia, and um, you know uh, she has. Uh, be accompanying you madam to all the temples especially mother and meenachi uh, thank you and after uh, i would like to thank you for tolerating me and my constant nagging telephonically through emails and even ujwalda and others would uh, you know my constant pressuring this is for a cause the so purely for a cause for for the students of the students by the students and even in future if such a Arrangement happens, you will have to bear my, uh, you know, constant, uh, uh, how should I put it, uh, uh, whatever is the word, uh, words are falling short for me now. I hope you are Guru Kalsa College and my, our students here. Um, Basavi Pal, madam, please. Yes, may I speak a few words of, um, of encouragement to the students out there? Well, uh, let me, uh, first and foremost, let me thank, thank you all. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to uh, Guru Nanak Khalsa College, especially to Professor Pravesh Vishwanathan Ayer, and uh, to all the dignitaries out there. 
to uh, have given me this uh, opportunity to be one among you in forming experience for me and i believe for all of you present here today all the students have performed wonderfully the students who conducted the whole program and your whole team sir of daffodil in international university of um, guru nanak khalsa college everyone has performed wonderfully they are all to us the blooming buds of our countries and we do bank upon them for our future to continue with the rich cultural heritage of both our nations let us all be united in spirit in spite of all our diversity let the celebration continue in future and let us spread the message to one and all and let us spread the message to all the people of these two nations as well as to the whole world let our future generations become aware of our rich cultural heritage and our rich legacy i do look forward to such programs in future a program which can talk about our integrity in spite of all the differences we have we are all one in spirit that is the spirit of everything and thank you ever so much for having given me this grand opportunity to participate in this wonderful program everyone was it was all so well organized i really uh, don't know how to express my gratitude and to all the participants out there who have spoken so well i mean it was really difficult to judge you know who was better than whom they were all so well congratulations and my heartfelt gratitude to one and all over here thank you so much uh yogesh pawar your word of um uh, yes indeed uh pravesh thank you so much for having me i joined late because i'm out on assignment in rural nasik and um was not available with internet net tell you i cannot thank you enough for including me just like man and after the other achievements which kind of make everybody sit up and wonder why they couldn't think of something so beautiful today when uh, you know in a sense metaphorically speaking ganga and padma came together in this event it was overwhelming i the music i cannot tell you how for a long time that music will stay in my heart you know like what wordsworth says the music in my heart i bore long after it could be heard no more so it it will be like that because it was very soothing and please uh, extend my heartiest congratulations to this young artist who sang the adil shah compositions with such beautiful grace he's done such a spectacular job of it i want to thank everybody from the khalsa college team and from the daffodils university who have worked behind the scenes to put together something so beautiful pravesh my brother today i mean you know uh, you are born to saraswati your mom's name is that and today you've lived up to that you know in that sense i really feel so happy my heart goes out to see how you put together something so beautiful i can imagine the immense amount of coordination that must have gone into this thank you so much for having me thank you yogesh thank you um uh, anyone left from daffodils international university to um uh, Shoydur, could you speak? Shoydur, he was the man behind preparing all the youngsters for today. Yes. And Yogesh ji, so good to see you after ages, huh? Long, long time. I think I last saw you when I was in my school. Yes. Ujjwal sir, can you hear me? Because he is a sutradhar of the entire thing. He is a sutradhar. Sai Guru Bai, welcome. Saidur, ah, right, right. I am sorry. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, uh, sir, can you hear me, sir? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And thanks. I would like to thanks my team, especially our students of JMC. 
देव आई होप यू ऑल एंजॉय दैट यस वेरी मच वेरी मच एंड ऑल्सो ऑलस्टर डेफोडिल ऑलस्टर्स दे ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड द क्लब ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड a tremendous effort for providing uh, for for the program for successfully doing that i would like to thank them also thank you everyone thank you the host thank you our uh, professor ujjal choudhury golam rahman our dean our hod thank you everyone thank you all i hope we will meet soon and uh, it would be not in online but also in person thank you everyone yes thank you somebody from the faculty of arts guru nanak khalsa college would like to express themselves um, chima ma'am simran chawla dr simran chawla or anyone else in, would like to express their point of view kindly or davinder madam who sir good evening everybody well it was a wonderful experience i must say i just didn't want the show to end but then all good things have to come to an end and what a presentation these students have put up from all three institutions i must say daffodil university uh, what is that uh, vishwa bharati and guru nanak khalsa college wonderful presentations and it was a wonderful blend of not only ideas you know we have titled it idea exchange program but then art literature culture everything was the ideas on all these you know different walks from different walks of like they have covered the programs they you know, we were glued to the screens i did not get up for a moment wonderful experience it was and the dio ka jo experience hai wo aaj ho gaya hai wonderful wonderful hats off to the students and all those who have worked to put up this program thank you thank you so much so for the verdict you and basvi pal madam can um, you know okay uh, the last part basvi ma'am and uh, i joined together in congratulating all the 12 participants actually it's very tough to Uh, really judge basvi ma'am will agree to that and if i tell the scores you will understand how small differences were there in the scores so uh, without doing uh, taking much time the joint runners up and they are joined the joint runners up are renisha olga disuza from gurunanak khansa college renisha olga disuza who spoke on the handicrafts Uh, handicrafts and looms and looms indian and looms bangladeshi and looms and all and khandakar faiza ahmed khandakar faiza ahmed who spoke on the mother tongue day if i am not wrong so uh, they from daffodil international university joined uh, runners up second position and and i must also tell the joints runners up score is uh, 12 i mean if i if i put on both people's name 24 out of uh 40 right 24 out of 40 in in uh, 20 uh, because basavi and me basavi ma'am and me were giving on 20 each so 24 out of 40 jointly um khandakar faiza and renisha olga disuza the uh, this is the third position or here it's called runner up the second position goes to shobhosachi das rudra from daffodil international university Shobhoshachi Das Rudra, your score is twenty-five, one mark more than the joint third. So twenty-five, and Shobhoshachi, if I'm not wrong, spoke about the festivals of Bangladesh. Spoke about festivals of Bangladesh. That was Shobhoshachi, and the first position, the first position for a lot of hard work in presentation also, to the point presentation exactly ending at four minutes, everything taken together. impeccable english also everything taken together goes to and the person the i'll also tell the difference is nothing it's only 25.5 just 0.5 more from the second and 1.5 more than the third the 
copper goes to Rohan Kadam of Gurnanat Khalsa College, who spoke about Indian Railways. Indian Railways and brought an animated video as well to put forth their ideas. Uh, welcome all the participants, all the winners, and we hope we meet again on some other occasion. Back to you, Pravesh Ji. Well, uh, uh, it is coming to an end. All endings give way to newer beginnings. Uh, it, this is just a start. This is just a silsila. And uh, during spring, during Fagun, we have come together. And it would surely give uh, springing newer learnings for us. Amrit Prabha doesn't stop. It is an eternal flow. And um, as a sequel to Ba Bapu Bhag, which we did last year, um, under the Faculty of Arts, under the supervision of Davinder Pal Kaur Basin, Madam, and Ravinder Kaur Chima, Madam, this is one more offering under the auspices of um, uh, uh, the Faculty of Arts, Kalsa College. Um, the, each and every one would be, um, of, uh, all the participants will be given the same. The three, the four winners, Rohan Kadam, Sobhashachi Das Rudra, Kandavar Faiza Ahmed, and Renisha Olga Dizuza will be getting their certificates, a joint certificate from uh, Daffodils International University and Guru Nanak Kalsa College. Um, uh, autonomous. Uh, I take this uh, moment of great reckoning and hand it over to uh, our vice principal and dean, faculty of arts, who would uh, round up with uh, the entire program of Amrit Prabha um, with the customary conventional vote of thanks. of Guru Nanak College Autonomous, I take the privilege of expressing my gratitude to each and everyone present here for making this program a grand success. As I said, all good things have to come to an end and so is the case with this program too. For more than two hours, each one of us did indeed revel in the festivities of the Panchpurab or the Panch Utsab that we were celebrating through this Amrit Prabaha, India Bangladesh Students Idea Exchange Program. Friends, we were commemorating five important events from the shared history of India and Bangladesh. Thanks to Almighty Vaheguru for making this happen. Special thanks to the hierarchy of Daffodil International University, Dhaka, Bangladesh, and principal and management of Guru Nanak Khalsa College Autonomous for permitting us to go ahead with this program celebrating the subcontinental synthesis. Many, many thanks to Daffodil International University for partnering with us and for opening up further avenues Extremely thankful to Professor A.M.M. Hamidur Rahman, Dean, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Daffodil International University, and our principal, Dr. Kiran Mangaukar, who set the tone for the program through their opening remarks. Thanks to Professor Aftab Hussain and Professor Saidur Rahman who have been the face of Daffodil International University for constantly and consistently being with us, discussing the nuances of the program and helping us put up this program. I would be failing in my duty if I do not mention our advisorial board that made this happen. We owe our gratitude to Professor Ujwal Kumar Chaudhary, Professor and advisor, Daffodil Inter, uh, International University, Dr. Biplab Loho Chaudhary, Professor, Center for Journalism and Mass Communication from Vishwa Bharti, Shantini Ketan, Srimati Basabi Pal, Head Department of French, Chandranagar Government College, 
and Mr. Ketan Vaidya, news editor from Mirror Now. And of course, I must mention Mr. Yogesh Pavar also. Thank you, dear friends, for not only helping us put up this program, but also for your physical presence, which means a lot to us. Thank you for sharing your impressions and insights about the program. Thank you again, Dr. Ujwalda and Basabi Pal for helping us. Again, had it not been for the enthusiastic participation of our student community, both from Bangladesh and India, this Panch Utsav, Amrit Prabaha, would not have been. From Daffodil International University, Vishwabharti University, Shantiniketan, and of course, our own parent institute, Guru Nanak Khalsa College, Mumbai. Within a short span of time, you have all succeeded in sharing your beautiful ideas, both through your presentations and cultural program. You have all proved that our future is in bright and safe hands. We are all aware that a program of this kind requires a lot of spade work and an eye for minute details. And for that, I must thank all our faculty members from both sides and the entire brigade of our student volunteers whose unstinting efforts, unstinting efforts and untiring support, I must say, has made this happen. Thank you, dear buddies and young student friends. I would be failing in my duty if I do not mention Professor Pravesh Vishwanath Ayer and Dr. Ravinder Kaur Chima for laying the ground for this program. It was they who first came upon with this thought of cross-border overture and through their untiring efforts made, made it possible. Thank you, Professor Pravesh, and thank you, Dr. Chima. I extend my heartfelt thanks to our alumnus brigade, Mr. Achyutanan Divaidi, Burjit Singh Devgan, Abhishek Purohit, Saloni Khadpe, and Manpreet, Manpreet Kaur Tetra for their wholehearted support. Thanks to our IT and technical support team for helping us run this program through the virtual mode and for making the YouTube platform available to us. I'm also thankful to the entire student community, parents and friends who have joined us on the YouTube to witness this event. Thank you once again, one and all, and hope we continue with our association and have many more such overtures of this kind in the near future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.